The book of Deuteronomy is one of the foundation books of the Bible. Many of its teachings and principles were often repeated throughout the entire Old Testament. It, is, it has provided relevant teachings for people living in different times and also prophesied of things that comes later in the future. We can find that in the Old Testament, many times similar principles and similar teachings that were repeated that you can always trace it back to the book of Deuteronomy. Our verse of the week is found in Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 15. The verse says, Only the Lord hath a delight in thy fathers to love them. And he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. The verse describes to us that we serve a God who chooses to do things. It is nice when God can choose to do something and he chooses to do something that is called love. When God could have chosen not to love us, God chose to love us instead. It is an intentional decision that God is making. The choice that God has chosen was so great and beyond words that even the unfallen world and angels marveled and wondered of his love. Grace, it is something that angels can never understand. It is something that the unfallen beings can never understand because they, they never disobeyed the Lord. So grace was not needed for them. They do not understand what grace means to them. It is something that is mysterious to them. What is grace? But to man, it was revealed a new characteristics of God that was not known to heavenly beings. It is through these characteristics of God that the only fallen being was also to be the closest being to be connected to God. Intentional choices were made. The choice to choose to love. God chose to love the ones that feel insecure. In this dark world, it is so hard to trust in anyone. Who can we trust? But who can compare of such a genuine love as God? That when we were still going against Him, He loved us. The cruel Babylonian king, King Nebuchadnezzar, he was proud. He, he thought highly of himself. He went and destroyed Jerusalem. He went and destroyed the temple of God and took all the vessels of the temple and bring it back to his, his, his uh, worship place. But while he was doing all of those, God was arranging someone to save him. God was arranging Daniel, one of the captive, to save him. The Bible says, we love him because he first loved us. And that is so true. God does not only love the people that is insecure. He also loves people that is very strong and mighty. Where sometimes don't think that they need God. When they can get everything on their own. King Nebuchadnezzar. He will get everything in his own strength. He wants riches, he gets riches. He wants power, he gets power. Because in the then known world, King Nebuchadnezzar was very strong. With whatever city that he conquered, he, he get it by himself. He may conquer kingdoms and receive great power and health. But God gave him something that could, he could not have attained in his own strength. He may have wisdom and strategies to destroy kingdoms, but he does not have the ability to have everlasting life. And that was the value that God added to his life. As a result, instead of conquering nations for himself, King Nebuchadnezzar became a king who seeks to conquer the hearts of men for the God of heaven. When God chooses, He only chooses to love. He chooses to love those who are weak. He chooses to love those who are strong. He chooses to love everybody. To the unfallen being, to experience the overflowing happiness that comes by obeying God and to the fallen humanity to experience the overflowing grace that is so undeserving. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. As God chooses to love us today, by intentionally putting the breath of life in us, He is telling us that we still have a chance to choose Him, a chance to love Him, a chance to get the value that He's adding to our life. Whether we are weak, he will be there to strengthen us. If we are so strong, 
He can still always add some more value to our life because God is just so great and He is just so powerful. All He desires for us is our happiness. He is our Lord who only seeks to grant us more happiness. And He is our Saviour who is ever ready to grant us His overflowing grace. As we understand this today, may we fall before Him. Ask to our, for our loving Saviour to give us His grace that may change our life. And may this loving Saviour be also our Lord who only desires our happiness. Thank you for listening.